Hello Aries. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitje here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marishinsky. So some of you may have been in a relationship. Could be in the past, could be current. It could also be a situationship. And some of you may simply have just exchanged glances with this person and you know there's something there. Hmm. Past life connection. Also, for those of you who are new, my way of reading is slightly different. I don't channel through any spirit guides. I never have. I have the ability, through my higher intuitive self, to get the answers that I need. And at the end of this reading, I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Okay, you have an extra card that just came out. Oh boy. Oh, okay, deep breath. One, two, three, very, very dark cards. This is your person of interest, but this could be you as well because of this card, which is my past life card, Mystery. This card talks about how you mirror each other, how you're picking up on each other's energy. It's just inevitable. You can't really avoid it. It just happens. Okay. We have here centering, followed by laughter, creativity, mystery, mothering, crisis, surrender, boundaries, betrayal, power, under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. All right. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Aries, the connection that I have with you makes me feel very grounded. Here, there is a sense of balance. We're like the yin and the yang. If I'm the moon, you are the sun. We come and go and dance in perfect harmony. And so many things have changed. I have changed. I do feel that in this connection there is a sense of laughter and happiness. You are somebody who makes my heart happy. You know what makes me tick. You know how to make me laugh. You make my heart happy. So many things I have experienced and gone through. And you, to me, are like a confidant. I could trust you with my life. What I want to do is create something with you. Something that'll be long-lasting for the world to see. Something vibrant, beautiful, unique. And this is all a mystery to me. Things have happened and I don't know why it's so strange that I feel as though I've known you from before as though you're familiar the things that I've experienced the things that I've seen it's as though we've done this before and I feel so comfortable with you I look into your eyes and I see home there's something about you that reminds me of home. I believe we have had and that we do still have a spiritual connection. I question the universe 
Why is it that you're in my life now? Why not before? Why not long, long ago? Are we meant to be together right now? I see you now as someone who has a lot of unconditional love to give. This love is pure, it's sacred, it's true. It talks about shelter, protection, endurance. This love. This love that I feel that comes from you. It comes from a wonderful human being. And not just someone I'm interested in. But you as a person, I see, are very loving and very giving. Right now my mind is a mess. I do feel that in this connection there is a sense of urgency. I am very overwhelmed. And this feeling of being overwhelmed is just, it's so intense that I'm not really able to think straight. And because I can't think straight, I feel it's important that I sort out my emotions. I need to sort out my emotions. If I do not, then I don't know how I'm going to think straight. How am I going to make a decision? How am I going to move on? I am so overwhelmed. There's a part of me that truly has surrendered myself to you. I have surrendered myself to you. I feel that there's a part of me that belongs to you. And there's a part of you that belongs to me. I have surrendered my heart, my mind, and my body to you. However, you don't know this because I have put up boundaries. Now there are boundaries. These boundaries exist because there has been a sense of betrayal in this connection. Because of this betrayal now, there's distance, there's a separation. I do feel that in this connection you are someone who truly does have a lot of power over me. There's certain things about you where you make me emotionally vulnerable and weak in the knees. And there's a way of tempting you don't even have to try and you're still able to seduce. Overall, you make me feel very weak. And I've had a spiritual awakening. For now, I want to find a better balance so that someday I'll be able to overcome this distance, this betrayal. I'll be able to open up to you and talk to you and tell you how important you are to me in my life. But for now, I remain overwhelmed and I keep my distance. All right, Aries. Interesting. Very different. There is definitely here betrayal that occurred in this connection between the both of you. There are boundaries between the both of you. There's separation here because of the betrayal. And then amidst of all this, this person realizes now that you don't you're not just a regular couple or a regular situation or relationship. The relationship you have is truly very unique. It's very different. It's very promising. And it is that of a soulmate, karmic partner, or even a twin flame connection. Those are the top three that are the most uh, strongest I've seen in my past life readings. 
And um, yeah, this person's not going to reach out anytime soon, Aries, so don't expect that. Not only are they overwhelmed, but they also have created boundaries. Okay. For some of you that feel you are unable to move on from this person, you're not able to let go, and that you have almost felt obsessed in a way regarding this individual, I do have the past life package, which some of you may want to look in um, on my website. That's www.smartshow.com. So I do have a past life package. This sometimes provides you with um, closure and a bit of understanding as to what happened in the past life and how it's affecting you in this lifetime. You may not know that perhaps you were married in a past life. Maybe you had an affair. Maybe you were just engaged. Maybe you were used. And in this lifetime, this is happening the opposite. Sometimes it's karma. It's a karmic relationship. Okay. This is definitely a past life situation. Car just popped right out. Six of Cups. A lot of feelings and emotions coming from the past. Sweet memories as well. Wanting to shed those sweet memories because sometimes it's a little bit too hard to handle. So let's have a look at the Six of Cups. This is the Lover's Path Tarot. And I look at this particular spread in the reverse to see what it is that happened in the first place in this connection where things started to go downhill. It just didn't work out. Okay. The Six of Cups here. So this talks about childhood memories. Shedding sad thoughts that constrain. So there may have been certain things that were bothering this person. Could be childhood trauma as well. Doesn't have to be just something that happened um, during childhood specifically or even in a past life. But there is something here that hurts this individual on, on a soul level. Here it talks about the ability to create sweetness within the home. But we're reading the reverse here. So this person knows that they can, but they are not creating sweetness within the home. Any type of strength that they can muster, it's not being brought up. It's They are just completely ignoring it. They're, they're ignoring their past. Okay, so Aries, something here to do with this person's past, the past with you or their past just in general with other people, they have a lack of ambition and trust. They don't want to move forward in this connection. This is just something that happened in the past. It talks about feeling restricted by the past memories that they had and a feeling of lost harmony, feeling very cynical. There's a cynicism here. So it's something that's bothering them from the past. This is probably something they have not discussed with you. We also have here the Prince of Coins. So this talks about opportunities, hard work, and development. But because we're reading the reverse, it talks about a lack of opportunities or not taking opportunities, not wanting to put in the hard work that's needed, not interested in developing anything, not interested in growth. The hard work and wisdom necessary to create growth was not put in. There was a lack of opportunities that were being seeked at the, some point in time. They were not seeking opportunities for development. They knew that they needed to take care of themselves, but they were not. They were just simply trying to satisfy themselves on a material level. Now here it also talks about, with the Prince of Coins, the reverse. One of the main reasons, Aries, this person started to fade away from your life because they started to feel a certain way. Here it talks about inertia and laziness. Not taking any action and not taking any responsibilities regarding this entire situation. So because of the past, because of certain problems that happened in the past, this person now is starting to realize that I cannot move forward because certain things happened in the past. It's this past haunting them. It's the past that's traumatizing for them. And so this is why it talks about them having a lot of in, um, inertia. It's a lot of laziness. Now, why is somebody lazy? 
They procrastinate because they don't want to deal with it. This person is unable to deal with it. Therefore, they acted or they pretended or they were just simply lazy. They just don't want to do it. But the reason is because they have had a bad experience in the past. If they had a good experience, right? Some Somebody does good. It's interesting. I'm seeing a marathon. Somebody's running a marathon. And they ran the marathon because they knew that the cause is good. They knew that the result would be rewarding. But then there's another individual I'm seeing that doesn't want, to, they just want to donate. They don't want to run the marathon because they feel it won't be, um, it will make them very tired. So that's the person who's a bit lazy. That's, I'm not sure why that analogy just came up, but I saw that example in my head. I saw like a person with a tank top with a tra like, um, with a number on it, um, Seeing the number 67, 6 or 7, that might mean something to some of you. Okay. Let's have a look at the beginner's tarot deck. So here I'm going to be looking into any plans, any actions, any intentions that this person has towards you in this situation. Knight of Wands. Interesting. Okay. After the Knight of Wands, we have here the Hanged Man, followed by the Empress. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have Emperor. Beautiful card. So you have the Empress and the Emperor. Ooh la la. <laughs> this is very nice. Yes. Very nice. There's a little bit of waiting though. Keep in mind, Aries. This person is compulsive. They're impulsive. Sometimes they can even be aggressive. They're a little immature when they are trying to get their way. Your person of interest may also be a bit dominating in the sense that with this card, I see that the emperor card, um, they are, it's either my way or the highway. So let's just go over the cards first. I didn't announce them. So this is the knight of wands, the hanged man, the empress, the wheel of fortune, and then we have emperor. So let's just start with the cards here, going from here to here. Knight of Wands, this person wants to come back into your life, hot and heavy. There's a lot of sexual energy here. But remember, this is somebody who is coming in very, in an impulsive kind of way. They can't do this. If you want a good long-term relationship, you need to take things a bit slow. Yes, this person wants to come back into your life, but there's a lack of substance. I don't see a lot of emotion. I see a lot of passion, a lot of lust, but I don't see that type of emotion. That emotion is important if you want to have a long-term committed connection. So they are going to approach you and they're going to leave, uh, they're going to send you some type of message, directly or indirectly. Then you have the hanged man. Then they're going to be waiting for your answer because you're not going to answer <laughs> immediately. Don't answer immediately. So you're not going to answer and they're going to be waiting around. They're going to be seeing what reaction you're going to have, and they are looking at the Empress. The Empress is looking at the hangman. So, in their own way of understanding, he knows he's waiting for her, but she knows that there's certain things that he needs to... I guess because it's a hanged man, I can use the expression man up. So she wants him to man up, right? And if it's a female girl up right <laughs> so she wants this person to not be like this she needs her person to be like that the emperor here the hanged man is observing and is very happy to see that they finally found somebody who they may have a potential with which is somebody who is very nurturing, very caring, protecting, a long-term thinker, a planner. This is somebody who has a lot of abundance, a lot of security. Um, they, they think ahead. And so it's somebody who you can have a long-term committed connection with. 
we also have right after that the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is really interesting because it talks about someday, some way we will meet again. This is something in their heart. This is something in this person's heart. They feel that they they believe, they know that someday something is going to happen. Fate and destiny is going to be on their side. And the both of you will come together naturally. It will just be a natural uh, merging. Now we also have here another major arcana. So you have one, two, three, four major arcana. It's really good. Lots of changes, drastic changes, big changes. These are practical changes. Just keep in mind, this person may be, and they're feeling this, and even they may feel that you are like this, but it's either my way or the highway. This person may love you the way that they know how to love, but they may not love you the way that you want to be loved. And so that sometimes can cause problems in a connection because you have different expectations, but everybody truly does have a different way of loving people. Everybody has their own different way. This person might be a little um, dominating, I guess you could say. It's um, They want to provide a lot of security, though. A lot of security. They don't want you to ever have any type of problems. And they do think that the both of you, this is the divine masculine and feminine, they really do feel that you have a lot of potential. The both of you. They do feel this. All right. Do I see any action? Yes, they're going to reach out, but it's up to you to take things a bit slow because this person's coming in really fast, hot and heavy. They're going to be waiting around to see what happens because this is they're waiting for your reaction. And you are waiting for fate and destiny to work out. Let's, let's not really wait too long because you are the one who's going to make your fate and destiny. what is it something come, nothing can come from oh man you, you guys know what I'm trying to say right <laughs> nothing comes from nothing right something always has to come from something that's what that's what I'm trying to say so you have to put in something in order to receive something but if you put in nothing you're not really going to get anything either you may get something but maybe it'll be years down the road but you need to put in the effort in order to get some type of results So if and when this person does come into your life, try to be not too abrupt. Try to take things a little slow and be a bit wise about it. Okay. And also their energy is coming up as someone who is quite um, immature. Uh, not an experienced exactly. They may be inexperienced as well. They could be older in age, but their behavior is still that of somebody who is immature. And sometimes that's simply because they're inexperienced. Just going to do a quick prayer. Okay. We have here Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. They are going to be bringing you these messages. Okay. Opportunity. So first card's the strongest. We have Opportunity. Followed by... Meditation brings answers. This talks about meditating and praying. Meditation, if you don't have time, 21 minutes is more than enough, according to my angel guide, Angel Fakio. We have here, meditation brings answers a year from now. Yes. Then we have, a th within the next few weeks, what's going to happen? That will be perfect timing for what? be perfect timing to take action and for forgiveness okay oh wow okay so this is one of those readings where it says it's up to you so this is now a choice so when this is a choice this does mean that some of you will want to be with this person and others of you you just have had enough they're not really changing the connection is not really moving forward in terms of being like someone being really mature and taking the lead that's not this person, for some of you. So, there's two groups now. So I'm going to have a look, and I'm going to uh, talk about that group first, which wants to be with this person and what the results are. 
So they are saying here, Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, that there is going to be, first card's the strongest, there is going to be an opportunity that's going to fall onto your lap. And meditation, prayer, will bring you answers from the divine. These answers you may hear in your mind, you may hear it from somebody else, certain messages, certain types of synchronicities that will only make sense to you. But for that, you have to be a bit mindful. So do pay attention to certain signs, certain synchronicities, um, words that you may read somewhere that just make sense to yourself, songs that may be on the radio while you're driving and you hear them and it makes sense to you specifically. These are very, like, it's a grid and it's a very different type of way that the celestial beings connect with us. And we are to use our higher intuition. Now, we also have here a year from now, yes, things will start to get better for you because you will receive that opportunity. Within the next few weeks, however, this could be months, guys. Within the next few weeks or months, there will be perfect timing when this person is going to start to change. They're going to become a bit more mature. They're going to learn from their experiences and become a bit wiser. Now, what's really good is that because of this perfect timing, they will be able to take action. And taking action means let's start with forgiving each other. Let's start with forgiveness. Somebody's going to say, sorry, first things first. Yes, we want a relationship, but let's talk about what happened. And let's put that behind us. Sometimes you can just put it behind you, but sometimes it really can make or break your relationship. So you do need to deal with certain situations. And forgiving somebody, I know many of you, you may not want to do that. You may not feel comfortable. But forgiving is very important because what ends up happening is that you're able to feel a sense of compassion, if you can, feel a sense of compassion towards this person and understand that the reasons why they did what they did. They were not really wise. They did not know what they were getting into. They were not ready. And therefore, Having that sense of understanding, okay, this is why this person behaved this way, it makes it easier when you're about to forgive someone. So compassion is key. And we also have this negative energy bubble, like I've mentioned before, it orbits around our, our mind. And it's just an extra negative thing. We don't want that. So if you actually forgive somebody, that grudge, that negative energy bubble will also burst and it will dissipate. It won't be near you anymore. It will enter the universe and the universe is large enough to handle it. We also have here under the bottom of the deck, it's a choice. This is totally up to you if you want to make this happen. You can. Beautiful set of cards here. There's just a little bit of waiting period. There's an opportunity and there's a sense of forgiveness, which is really good. So we also have here, for those of you that do not want to be with this person, either way, you too are also, you're also going to be receiving an opportunity. This could be an opportunity for abundance. It could be just simply um, an opportunity regarding a relationship. We also have here a year from now, yes, things will be different. It's important to do meditation, to pray, and then receive your answers and recognize those answers and then act upon that. Within the next few weeks, there is going to be perfect timing where you will be able to take action. And sure, you can forgive this person as well. But the difference here now, the two branches, they separate. What's happening here is you will just forgive and you will turn into platonic friends. That's for some of you. And if that's okay with you, that's fine. If not, if you don't feel comfortable, don't even get into it. Because you cannot be... Your person of interest might literally think of you as a platonic friend going forward. And you only hung around because you still love them. Meanwhile, they're now dating somebody and they're introducing you to their date. Because they thought you were a friend. So just be very careful what you do because you might end up hurting yourself in the process as well. So there is a sense of forgiveness here. And this, of course, like they said, you have free will. This is up to you, Aries. And that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. Do let me know in the comments below if any of this has resonated. Also, I just wanted to announce, um, yes, I do have past life readings open right now. If some of you are interested, if you cannot let go of this person, if you feel that you are obsessing over this person, that most likely is a spiritual connection that you've got going on over there. And um, 
have a look on my website. This is www.asnoidshia.com. Um, you can have a look at certain um, packages that I have and read through it. Once you read through it, you can place your order. It will take me some time, but hopefully you'll be able to um, uh, look through those. I also want to mention I have a new um, website. Not no, Sorry, it's a new video on my channel, the YouTube channel, which is... Um, oh my heavens, how did I... <laughs> Asnoitia Audio. Sorry, I, I did get distracted. Something something happened in the background there. Um, it's Asnoitia Audio, and I did put up um, a... A video regarding negative energies and it's a, a bit of information it's a little bit lengthy you'll be able to see it soon I'm going to be uploading it and it talks about negative energies what they are how they are um, how they're attracted to us things like that so hopefully once you get that you'll have a better understanding of how to empower yourself regarding these negative energies how to stay away from them how to protect yourself all right thank you so much for tuning in you all take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys again. Bye now.